so pleased you could join me guys for this six gold camo unlock for the assault rifle weapon this time it's the shiva so this is the six gold camo i've got now working our way to that diamond camo now that's the moment i did open up the gold camo guys you can see there i thought i'd share that moment with you now basically what you have to do i'm going to help you get the gold camo for this weapon and um, first of all, I just want to say to you that the Shiva weapon I have really enjoyed using. It's probably one of the better of the assault rifles so far that I have had to use. It's basically a one-shot marksman rifle, but it does kill the enemy on the second shot. And I can vouch for that. It does work, guys. The second bullet will kill the enemy every single time, so it is very, very damaging. First of all, guys, before you can work your way towards the gold camo, you obviously need to open up your headlocks first before you can unlock the six specialist challenges. So there's 100 headshots in total. You work your way through them, there's go 5, um, then up to 10, then 15, then it goes 20, then obviously up to 100 with the Polizia camo. And I do like that Polizia camo, actually, it's quite a nice camo. Not as good as the gold, though, which is what we're aiming for in this one. But I'm going to show you, unless you're unsure, guys, of how to get those headshot kills. And I will tell you a little bit of a trick as well, unless you, do, unless you don't know. But um, basically what can help you get the headshots is if you use the high caliber attachment weapon for any assault rifle or any other weapon. The high caliber is there to help you to get the headshots. Put it on, put it on the other attachment when you're after the headshot kills because you need 100 of them. And I'll tell you what, guys, I can get nearly 20 in a match. 20 in one match in headshots when I use the high caliber. So please use it it does really help you with the headshots as you can see i'm racking them up here now and literally like i said i think the maximum i got in one game was about 30 headshots i had about 40 kills in total and i got about 30 headshots just in one game sometimes you can get them like this very very easy where the enemies just spawn they don't move and then you can just grab your headshots and again even when you're in play if you've got the high caliber attachments on it will kind of focus in and aim in in the headshots you don't really need to do much aiming at all it will just automatically go to that head and it will blast that head off for you so work your way up to 100 guys once you doing that you then go on to the 10 long shot kills so now your specialist challenges will unlock now in case you're unsure about the long shots basically there are some points especially on nuke tam map i love nuke tam which is why i always play it but this is a nice little area here where you can sit you can camp around if you want to i don't really like camping myself too much but i only just camp around just to show you guys where the little places are little points of where you can get the long shots from that's one there or there's also at the back of this map the little sand pit here if you lay down here the enemy will kind of go in front of you down that little gap there that's a nice little place especially in domination as well where that point b is they will hang around down there and you can get your long shot as you see there was a long shot i just opened up that camo so that's a couple of nice little places just to help you with the long shots so then we go on to the burn camo which is the 50 kills without any attachments that's a nice easy one guys just take all your attachments off get your 50 kills that will open up that camo then we've got the bliss camo there's a bit harder on this one you literally need to take all your perks off you need to take all your um tacticals lethals off and just have five attachments okay so you have one eyesight and you have four i think it's five yeah five in total um then you need 50 kills with that then you go on to the battle camo which is two rapid kills in f and you need that five times so that's not too bad a one either. That's nice and easy. This is a bit more harder, guys. This is the chameleon. Basically, you need to get five bloodthirsty medals. Now, bloodthirsty, in case you don't know, is five kills on the trot without dying. You don't need to have a, like a time limit before you get the kills in between. It's just get the five kills without dying five times, and then you will open up that chameleon um, camo. Now, basically, guys, to help you with bloodthirsties, I mean, you can camp around. You can set up your window where I'm sitting here now. It'll be, make you a nice, easy bloodthirsty or you can run around do it it's what you prefer doing but basically all i'm showing you guys is just some nice little footage of where you can get some bloodthirsties from and this is hard point on nuketown it's a nice little map this to get the bloodthirsties on because obviously you know where the enemy are going to be spawning mainly just behind where the hard point is because they're going to be running into that hard point that's the chameleon camo opened up there guys i thought i'd just share that one with you that was my last fifth and final bloodthirsty this is just another one here though another bloodthirsty that i can just safely say to you guys if you do sit around at the back of this little um kind of i, I suppose it's like a little it's not a wall as such but you know what i mean i'm just camping behind this little place here and especially in domination as well you know the enemy going to be coming from one end and one end only you've got a very good vantage point here where you can see all the enemy coming and literally guys you can get up to a merciless you can get that <laughs> um those kills and without dying just sitting behind here and this is a good little place to get your bloodthirsty medals or merciless or relentless whatever you want to get okay 
So nice little places to camp around there. But yeah, just keep aiming for that bloodthirsty medal. Very, very easy one to get. Like I said, I can probably get them straight after the unlock um, within five, six games. Get all them five out of the way and then it's another one done. Add them towards that gold camo. So there's another one there. And uh, yeah, we've got the uh, Guardian up there. We'll put that out and we'll say, we well, just carry on, guys. You can just keep carrying on. It's not a problem. You'll just keep getting as many kills as you possibly can. So anyway, guys, um, this is the sixth gold camo that I've said I've now opened up now. Um, if you haven't caught my other videos, I have got all the other gold camo unlocks as well. I'm going to show you how to do all those as well. So we've got one more to do now. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to try and do that tonight if I can, so I can get that last assault rifle out of the way. So I've only got one more to do, and then I can open up that diamond camo. So I'm really looking forward to that. Now the next camo, okay, is the final one of all, which is the gold camo, guys. So there you go. That's what you get once you've done all those challenges, all the 100 headshots, and all the other specialist challenges. It's a lovely weapon, as I said, to use. This one looks so much better in gold. I really do hope you've enjoyed this video, guys, and I hope I've helped you out in some way in how to get those bloodthirsties and the long shot medals. But any advice, guys, if you want any advice at all, any tips, please send a comment. I'm so happy to help you. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.